The Lion Infantry is one of the most common classes in the game. With very balanced stats overall, it is a pretty solid starter class for those who are being introduced to the game. Today, I, Zermington, the greatest blood and iron player of all time, will be deep diving into the Lion Infantry class, more specifically, the Ranker. Let's get started. The Lion Infantry class is pretty much the first class that Blood and Iron opens you up with. A common class, the Lion Infantry is definitely not a class to sleep on. The Lion Infantry comes with two items, the Lion Infantry Musket and the Saber or Sword. The Lion Infantry Musket is a firearm exclusive to Lion Infantry, as well as having a random chance of being obtained as a partisan. An overall basic and solid musket with basic overall range, the Lion Infantry Musket does very solid close to mid range, with the gun being nothing too special compared to guns like the Light Infantry and Rifle. The gun also has a slight defect in being a tiny bit more inaccurate compared to the rifle, as well as the bullet velocity also being slightly worse statistic wise even though it honestly feels way slower than it says the fall off range in this gun is also worse than the rifle being half as long with the fall off range stat being 100 compared to the rifle's 200 meaning you will be getting a ton more hit markers at longer ranges the reload time for this line infantry class is also mediocre with a reload speed of about 11 to 11 and a half seconds without reload buffs from musicians which is slower than light infantry but much faster than the rifle the walk speed for the line infantry musket is also slightly slower with a walk speed being 16 compared to the rifle 17. with all of these defects in mind why is the line infantry musket itself such a balanced and solid weapon that of course is the bayonet by pressing x with your musket equipped your gun will switch to bayonet mode this bayonet is an overall solid weapon against enemies with the damage being 40 against enemy players the same as a sword or saber however the bayonet also has a noticeably longer stud range meaning you can melee people from a pretty long range compared to swords the problem with the bayonet is the slower swing time compared to swords meaning if you are extremely close to the enemy it can mess you up in sword fights so it's best just to use the range at its fullest as well as having great range the bayonet excels against enemy cavalry by crouching and stabbing horses that come charging towards you these can one hit horses or severely damage them making cavalry vulnerable without their steeds. Me personally, the bayonet is what carries this class, as it is overall balanced with the bayonet giving it a pretty good melee boost compared to other infantry counterparts. The Lion Infantry also comes equipped with a saber or sword, doing the same damage as the bayonet, with the trade-off being faster swing speed and sacrificing the bayonet range in the process. With all of this in mind, I, Zermington will give you the do's and don'ts of the Lion Infantry and hopefully help you fellow soldiers into becoming a force to be reckoned with. This is Zerm's do's and don'ts. Do. Use the bayonet at its fullest potential. Since the bayonet does severe damage to horses, be a team player and help your fellow soldiers into destroying the enemy cavalry force. Cavalry are one of the best classes in the game and one of the most stressful to deal with, so having a bayonet assist in taking down these forces will severely cripple the enemy team, and you will feel like a complete legend. Don't. Bayonet charge the enemy if they have ranged weapons or are in huge groups. This one is pretty easy to follow. You want to survive and help your teammates win? Don't go all ramble and try to play it smart. Do have some sort of distance against the enemy. Whether it's range distance with a bayonet or the musket itself, try not to be close to the enemy to where you are extremely vulnerable when reloading. The reload speed may be faster, but this is blood and iron fast we're talking about. Pick off enemies from mid range and you will be doing your team a service. Don't. Choose this class in enormous maps. Maps like Riverside Encampment, La Rothier's Fields, Road to Smolensk, and many huge maps make this class almost useless at a certain point. The range of the musket is awful in these large open maps, so try to do. Use this class in mid-sized to small maps. The range of this gun can work for these smaller maps, such as Spanish Farmstead, Fishermont, and other maps that are closer to that size. These maps are where line infantry can do reasonably solid, so if you want to choose this class, it's best to do them in these maps. 
So this was a rundown of the line infantry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. Once again, thank you all for the support on the Blood and Iron videos. It means a lot to me. As for what I think about the line infantry class, I mean, it's all right. Like overrated as in my opinion. I mean, the bullet velocity for the musket honestly feels worse than what it says on paper. And with the mediocre range that this has compared to other better range firearms, it becomes very annoying. And I mean very, very, very annoying. The bayonet though is pretty good. But honestly, I would rather use light infantry instead. That is just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this class in the comments. Help your fellow Blood and Iron players out if in the comments as well if I missed anything. This was Zerm. Hi. Goodbye. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.